This sure. uh, spurred outrage from people for being uh, Islamophobic, and I just, it, it is a combination of wondrous things. Roll clip. Are you religious, may I ask? I'm not, and to be honest, this outfit really represents the importance that visibility for people of religious minorities need to have in this country. Isn't this an interesting wrinkle, though? <laughs> is something in that religion that is, is. anti-homosexuality uh, and anti-woman? Does that complicate the issue? I'm just raising it, no, thinking out loud, and maybe being stupid, but no, no, what I do think, you think? I think, you know, drag has always <laughs> shaken the tree so to speak. And what? there are so many different layers to this presentation. And if it was ever going to be done, this is the stage to One do layer. it. It's a complex issue. I have my own misgivings about the way that LGBT people are treated in the Middle East. And at the same time, I am one. Well, oh. no, you're one here. Over there, yeah. you'd just be uh, in a, you'd be a, you'd be dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he says that like he's coming out like, yeah, yeah we know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, you're also, uh, in, I am one. you're also in white face. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Don't think that just because you toss on a dress and a couple of sparkles that you get to appropriate. That's the interesting. My non-existent culture, because let's be honest, I don't really have one. But, um, <laughs> I, I just question. love Jeff Goldman. Oh, and, uh, uh, uh oh. isn't this an interesting wrinkle? <laughs> <laughs> and it seems that, uh, you've had to use some uh, double-sided tape because uh, 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 a penis uh, finds a way. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so funny. He doesn't even realize yeah. like, he doesn't realize that he's stepping into the yeah. Twitter hate oh, yeah. mob. Right, right. no yeah. It's no entirely idea. logical. Sure. Yeah. It's, a, it's a reasonable question. No one would have batted an eye if yeah. this person came out and said, I'm Mormon. They would be like, oh, well, how does that work when you're part of a, a very conservative, right. Right. you know, yeah. it would have brought up, uh, what was it? Well, it's, it's not Islamophobic. It's like, it's completely accurate. It is an, yeah. it's Islam, Islam accurate, right? It's exactly what their religion would do to this person if they were in that country. He's like, huh. Well, here, well, let me be shocking. really clear. Some fast facts here. Uh, obviously, uh, like the Bible, the Quran condemns uh, uh, people of Sodom for their homosexuality. So I want to be really clear. Right. Now, that's a little bit different that the Bible, the Quran doesn't outline specific punishment, but we've talked about this before. You look at various hadiths, uh, penalties yeah. for homosexuality ranging from beatings yeah. to life imprisonment to being thrown from buildings. Right. They'll beat the gay out of you, they think. Yes. Uh, here's another one. Saudi Arabia recently they just beheaded five men for being gay. Ooh. And Iran wow. and Yemen also hold homose homosexuality is punishable by death. So you can wow. find yeah. the most red state you can imagine. Go on down to Idaho and find me someone there who's going to throw five gay men off of yep. rooftops. That's a slow week yeah. for <laughs> Yemen. Big wrinkle. But you're mad with Jeff Goldblum for bringing yeah. it up. Right. Yeah. yeah. When he says, "Huh," he he, he didn't even. Isn't this say an interesting that. wrinkle? He just asked a question like, "Are you are you a practicing in this religion at all?" And he's like, "Huh, that's really interesting that they would yeah. do that." Yeah. He just inquisitively uh, asked a I'm question. I'm surprised yeah. that you're uh, 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 not dead. <laughs> <laughs> How did you make it out? <laughs> well, it, it, for some reason, it reminds me of the... So there's some uh, UK Democrat, pol Democratic, uh, liberal Democrat politician doing uh, fasting during Ramadan. Mm. Yeah. So it's like, what does what does this person on RuPaul's Drag Race and the politician fasting during Ramadan, what do they think they're doing? Yeah. Right. Like, what, yeah. Is this helping them in some... Like, is this yeah. helping Identifying Muslims? Culture. Really, they're, they're just taking on the religion and acting like it's some kind of comment. Right. Yeah, yeah, well, really. I, I would have a lot more respect if they would just come out and say, yeah, it's, it's pretty much a hellhole over there right now. They kill anybody they think might be gay. Well, this, yeah, is, right? this is also the idea of these people are, and these people, I mean the LGBTQAAIP community, are bullies. Now, yeah. what do I mean? They pick a fight where they know someone can't fight back. They put on an American flag burqa with rhinestones as a drag queen slash transgender, uh, something they would never dream of doing no. from their homeland that they identify with as a religious minority or from the Middle East. They do it here in the United States so that they can belittle, character assassinate, denigrate people like Jeff Goldblum for bringing yeah. up a totally fair question. Yes. Right. That's a bully. They know that they have the pulpit here. They are doing something. They would never punch up and do this in the Middle East. They would never go and do that in Iran or Yemen or yeah. Saudi Arabia, but they'll do it here in the United States and bring the Twitter mob with them against Jeff Goldblum because why? They know that there are no repercussions for it. They know that there's no accountability for it. You go do this. Go do this in the public square right now in Palestine, in Yemen, in Saudi Arabia, in Pakistan. Hell, you know what? Do it in Qatar. See how it ends up for